Hello, everybody. Good evening. You hear me? Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good night, Hello. teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ready? Good ready? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yeah. How was your vacation? Good evening. How was your vacation? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. I hope I hope you could have you know a great great time with your family. I know that everybody spends time with the families. That's the most important thing, right? And well, we're ready to start with this new week. Thank you for joining. Let's begin. Right now I have 22. Uh, I think I'm going to start a little past the attendance, the meeting. Give me a second. Okay, remember, I will start passing the attendance. Once you listen to your name, say press. Here we go. Come up with my first participant. Alberto Espinosa. Present teacher. Thanks. Alma Francisca Garcia. Garcia yes. Present teacher. Thanks. Ana Vicky Present Garcia. Teacher. Diaz. Present. Thank you. I will repeat again, sorry. Ana Vicky Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. Ask Lorena Muñoz. Ask Lorena Muñoz. Okay. Yes. Okay, Betsy Arely Avalos. Present teacher. Okay. Betsy Marisol Flores de Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Cesar Martinez. Cesar Martinez, can you hear me? Present. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, again. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with Cesar Ariola. Cesar Ariola. Right here. Well, let's continue. I will go with Claudia Ramos. Present. Here. Valida Galicia. Teacher. Tell me, Castillo. Present teacher. All right, it's nice to have you in the meeting. I saw your messages. Thank you. Ernesto Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. Stephanie Sea. Present teacher. Okay. Preston Rodriguez. Carson Rodriguez. Elina Linares. Presente, teacher. Okay. Liana Alvarado. Present, teacher. Okay. Iván. Yeah, Iván. Present. Rodríguez. Present. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Giovanna Navarro. Present teacher. Okay. Jorge Espinosa. Present teacher. Jose Parientos. Present teacher. Here. Jose Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Okay. No. Okay. Say Isaías Portillo. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Carvalho. Present. Okay. Karen Natalie Mengiver. 
present. Okay. And Renata Flores. Okay. Karen Renata Flores. Right. Carla Marila Granados. El Marila Granados, sorry. Present teacher. Okay. And let's go with Carla Patricia Rivera. Here. Carla Patricia Rivera. Okay, and let's go with Carla Stephanie Rosa. Okay. Carla Stephanie Rosa. Okay. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to pass the tennis at the end of the session. We're going to begin with the session. Right now, I have 25 participants. You can see I'm 24 because I am in, in the bar. Okay. Yeah, in the bar. And we have 24 right now. We're missing six people. Very good. Let's begin. All right. Um, well, welcome one more time. Welcome back. It's nice to have you in the session, guys. I was asking you at the beginning, do you enjoy your vacation? Yes, we enjoy it. Do you have a great time with your family? Families? Yeah, I, I was with my grandparents. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. What about the rest? What do you do? What do you do? We're on vacation. Do you go out or stay home? What do you do? We go we 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 guess we went to Sitco. Oh. All right, yeah, the new CIFCO? The new CIFCO. Yeah, right. The, it is located in Export Hill, if I'm not mistaken, it's, right? Exmission. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's nice. So there, there it is, uh, the new CIFCO, supposedly, right? Well, okay. I like it. I'm happy to hear that. Very good. Thanks. What about the rest? What do you do? You go out, you go to the beach. Yeah. Do you stay home? Joanna? Help. I no, don't. Help. Um, I was in my house with my family. Um, um, we are, no, we, we, we what? No, we were, we were better. We were, were, yeah. We were um, at the home, in my home. Yeah, exactly. Good. Thank you. Like it. Well, um, listen. Remember that you have to have your camera on, please. I will take a screenshot right now because I have twenty four, please. Switch on the camera, and I will take a screenshot. Remember that I need to have an evidence. Uh, please, please, guys, I want you to, you know, a smile. A smile, <laughs> tell you, the country, one, two, three. Okay. Second. Perfect. Let's continue. Now let's begin with the session. This is session number three. Uh, before to do it, sorry, or I forget it. Solo quiero hacer un recordatorio con respecto a cuál es la plataforma de irla completando. Estuve revisando durante la vacación, actualizando, y estuve viendo por ahí, observando que algunos han completado y algunos tienen. Recuerden que pueden ir, pueden hacer varios intentos. Así es que los invito a que. Si solo intentamos de una vez y en un caso tuvieron errores, no se preocupen, sigamos practicando, podemos hacerlo nuevamente y por el porcentaje, ¿ok? Por el porcentaje que se obtiene al final en cada, en cada sección. Les invito a verificar eso 
que intentaron una vez y obtuvieron uno o dos errores, por ejemplo, pueden intentar nuevamente y hasta obtener ese caso a ah, todas correctas. Okay. Tenemos con la plataforma, recuerden, esto lo van a menos que ver en, en el grupo, así como hacemos siempre. O me pueden contestar de forma personal. Me pueden explicar, me pueden decir qué sección de, de la plataforma en la que les ha dado problema. Podemos bueno, voy a revisar en ese caso yo primero, verificar si el problema ya es de la plataforma. Voy a paso a, a, a alguien encargado de, de esto aquí. En ese caso, la de informática para que ellos verifiquen el sistema. Igual, si tienen otro problema, etcétera, se lo hagan saber. Me pueden mostrar si caso o enviarme pero de pantalla va a ser mucho mejor. Sí. Bueno, sí. Ahora bien, dígame. Teacher, when are you going to when are you going to evaluate the advance of the plataforma? Can you repeat again, sorry? Eh, ¿Cuándo va a realizar la evaluación del avance de la plataforma? Oh, okay, that's a good question. Bueno, con respecto al avance. Recuerden que vamos a ir verificando con respecto a si ustedes quieren verificar cierto ejercicio que tal vez les dio problema a todos. Háganmelo saber, podemos verificarlo acá en la sesión. Con respecto al meter y el final exam, eso sí lo vamos a verificar en las sesiones. Así que la próxima semana, bueno, déjenme verificar porque se extorsionó un poquito de distorsión ¿vale? se distorsionó un poco la, la semana después de, de la sesión. Voy a verificar bien la sesión 3. Mañana terminaríamos la, ses la, la semana 1. Así que probablemente lo que sería hasta la próxima semana, que tocaría hacer ya el meter. Recuerden que el meter se hace en la segunda semana. Ya sea antes. Por decirles algo, si iniciamos lunes, de lunes a jueves, se hace un día antes, miércoles. En ese caso, voy a verificar bien el, el calendario, para ser sincero, para ver, para ver cuándo nos toca acabar el meter y decirles cuándo tienen que estar ustedes, un día antes, en este caso. O bueno, el ENS es que un día antes, mejor dicho, lo van a hacer ustedes su propio día. Para el final test, el final exam, eso sí se hace antes, un día antes. Pues, determinar el mood. Bien. Voy a verificar bien lo del calendario y les voy a ir notificando yo aquí en, el, en la sesión les voy a mostrar las instrucciones del meter para que ustedes lo, lo veamos todos y lo disfrutamos. Luego ustedes se quedan trabajando, obviamente, por su cuenta. Y vamos a estar discutiendo el meter, el final exam. Si quieren ustedes o han tenido problemas o dudas con algún ejercicio, pues lo díganme y podemos trabajar acá en la sesión. Podemos verificar todo. Para eso estamos acá. Darles el mensaje. ¿Alguien más tiene alguna pregunta antes de iniciar? ¿Cierto? Antes de que se me olvide, uh, bueno, contacté a algunos temprano que se me notificó que no habían enviado su comprobante del manual. Que, déjeme verificar rapidito acá. Voy a mencionar acá, por si acaso no han revisado el, el WhatsApp. Okay. Acá me mandaron un listado de los parte que aún no, han, aún no han enviado probante caso del manual educativo. Recuerden que debían enviarlo la semana antes de la ocasión. Son cuatro personas. Tengo a usted, Lisset Díaz López, de Carlos Barrientos, Carla Mariela Granados Cabrera. En Carla Stephanie Rosa Rutia. Ellos no están pendientes. Creo que dos, si no me equivoco, dos personas, tres personas me contestaron ya. Ya me confirmaron, pues ya, ya lo enviaron o, o están en, en proceso de enviar. Solo recordarles que tienen hasta mañana. Si han tenido problemas, verifiquen que todo esté en orden y que enviamos. Bueno, no sé si alguien tiene preguntas para iniciar. Questions, doubts? Okay, well, let's begin. Welcome back, everybody. 
now that, well, after vacation, I hope you can enjoy your vacation, like I said before. Let's begin. This is the topic for today. Now we use questions to be going to, and we will have a conversation. This is session number three. Today is Tuesday, April 6th, 2021. But now, let's begin. Remember, we have now we use questions to be going to. First, I'm going to, you know, introduce this. We have some holidays, holidays in the USA specifically, okay? Well, and we have the days, days which, which right, people celebrate these holidays in the United States. We have some of them, right? We celebrate lots of them, I would say, in a Salvador. But of course, we have different holidays, right? Well, in this case, the first holiday in the USA is New Year's Day. So New Year's Day is on January 1st. January 1st. That's the first holiday. Second, we have Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. So in general, you know, we celebrate Valentine's Day on February 14th. Valentine's Day is on February 14th, right? Then we have the Independence Day in the USA, remember, it's the USA. They celebrate independence in a different day, right? So Independence Day in the USA is on July 4th. On, on July, July 4th. 4. Independence Day is on July 4th. Okay, that is another special day in the United States. When do we celebrate Independence Day in El Salvador? When? September 15th. September 15th. Exactly. It is on September 15th. September 15th. Yeah, in some cases, it could be, right? Uh, some people celebrate Independence 15. Day um, on September 14th, 15th, but you know, the, the, the current date is on September 15th, right? That is Independence Day. Of course, Halloween. Halloween in the United States is celebrated on October 31st. I think it's in general, right? For example, in the Salvador, we attempt to celebrate it. We, we do some, you know, some other activities. It's not the real thing that we that we do as American people. We do it in a different way. But Halloween is on October 31st. October. October 31st. October. Then we have Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is celebrated in the fourth, fourth Thursday in November. Thursday in November. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is the day for Thanksgiving. And at the end, we have Christmas. Christmas, as we know, Christmas Day is on December 25th. That is around the world, right? So these are some special holidays in the U.S. USA. What about in a sample? Do we have special holiday? What about if we talk about Mother's Day? Mother's Day. May 10th. Yeah, Mother's Day is on May 10th. 10th. And it's deeper, right? In the United States, I'm not sure. Be honest, I'm not sure when they celebrate Mother's Day. But yeah, it's different. Different. Right? These are some holidays in the USA. Another holiday in the Salvador. And holiday, Teacher's for example, Day. Yeah. Teacher's Day, yes. Teacher's Day. When do we celebrate Teacher's Day in the Salvador? June, June 22nd. Exactly. Teacher's Day is on June 22nd. 22nd. Absolutely. We have a, you know, we have a 
users they write in Salon as a unique yeah. holiday. When do we celebrate Usa's Day? I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. When do we celebrate Usa's Day? Does somebody know? I don't know. No? Yeah, the pupusa. Yeah, pupusa say. Okay, that will be a helpful for you. Please, you have to search for that. Um, shall we? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. When do we celebrate? When do we celebrate pupusa's day? On uh, April. On April. Second. Second. Second, November, second. November, second. Second Sunday of November. November. Second oh, yeah. Sunday of November. The second Sunday of November. Okay. November, yes. In November. the second uh Sunday in November. Sorry. In November. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Well, any questions right now? Holidays? So far, so good. Father's Day. Father's Day, yeah, exactly. What do we celebrate Father's Day in Salvador? It's on June 17. Exactly. It is on June 17. 17. Right. ¿Y cómo sería el día de los difuntos? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. That is Death Day. Death the Day. day. What do we celebrate death November 2nd. November 2nd. November 2nd. November 2nd. Your death day is on November 2nd. Second. Good. Thank you. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of a lot of holidays in El Salvador, in the United States, of course, in different countries. We have a lot, of, yes. I'm going to move on to the following part because I'm going to explain now the, the way we ask questions to be going to. Uh, what do you remember about be going to? When do we use be going to? I'm talking about that before we, we, we went to vacation. When do we use be going to? When do someone else be going to? We're having uh, the pyramid in we, it. I'm sorry? Oh, we use uh, going to when you talk about the future and you probably be sure that you do it this. Yeah, do okay. This. Yeah, exactly. You just be going to for future plans and intention. And you are, yeah, you are certain intention about intentions, yes. You're certain about those activities. Exactly. What we're talking plans about and intentions. plans and intentions, yes. Future plans and intentions. That's right. It's gotta be going to, we use it to express future plans and intentions. Now we are, as your classmate said, we are certain, certain about those activities, right? Let's talk about W's question, because in the previous class, we were talking about affirmative and negative form. Now let's talk about questions. So I remember that I explained how we use just no question. This is the way we structure a just no question we can point to. We have first the verb to be. What is the verb to be, guys? What is the verb to be? Um, do those? Mm, those are the auxiliaries yes. for simple present. Simple present tense. The verb to be and simple present. Is are. 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 are. Is are. Is are. are. Is are. Plus the subject, then we have the point to, which is the artillery, that is an artillery. Then we have the verb, which is the main verb, and the main verb is in base form. 
the verb is in base form. Finally, we have the content. Why we structure a chestnut question. And why it is a chestnut question? It's because we respond just like yes, I am, or no, I'm not. It's a short answer. For example, are you going to do anything next vacation? It's next August. Are you going to do anything next vacation? We have short answers. We can respond like, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Those are the two short answers. Yes, I am, no, I'm not. You can add more information if you want. If you say, yes, I am, you can say, I'm going to go. If you want to add more information, say, no, I'm not, I'm going to stay home. Okay? You can add more information. You can. Because we have short answers, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Okay. And well, we can have different questions as you know with different questions. We can change the subject, for example. You can say, Is she going to go to pay um, El Pital next? Because in this case, we're using a different subject. You can see we is a woman going to go to the next Saturday. You can answer yes, she is. There's another example. That's another that's another test no question. Okay. It depends on the subject. You respond. And of course, you can add more information. You can say she is going to go with her friends. You are adding more information. You can do it. You say no, she isn't. She is going to. She is going to work on Saturday. And we're talking about future plans. The way we construct a question, a question specifically, we answer. We have short answer. Any questions so far? Any questions? Any questions? With us? For example, if I ask you, uh, Ivan, are you going to work next Saturday? Excuse me? Are you going to work next Saturday? No, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go with AC and Lee. Are you going to? Are you going to go out with your friends next weekend? Uh, no, I am. I am going to work next weekend. Oh, okay. Remember, Bessie? No, I'm not. That is a short answer. No, no I'm, I'm not. No, I'm not. And then you can say, I'm going to work next weekend. Yeah. Okay. No, I no, I'm not. I'm going to work next week. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay, I will go with another participant. I will select Kelso. Are you going to... Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Are you going to go camping um, next Friday? Um, no, I am, I'm not going camping next Friday. I'm going to work, no, study next Friday uh, in my house. Oh, okay. Remember, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm going to study in my house. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, here's some. Do me a favor. Select someone and ask question. Question that you want. Do you like it? Select someone. 
um, um, number or number or mm, I don't know. Select someone. We have Carla, Mariela, Karen oh. Okay, 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 okay. Um, uh, tell me. Okay. Tell Ask me. a question to tell me, please. That we're going yes. to. Okay, um, tell me, um, are you going to uh, the beach uh, and the next vacation? Okay, are you going to go to the next vacation? I no, I, I, I am not. I am going to stay in my house. Okay, nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, something that I want to point out, remember, again, Talking about second, I move this. Okay, talking about the structure. Remember, we have to follow. We use the example that Harrison or the question that he asked to tell me. We have to follow all the parts. Where to be? He said R. Subject U. Then we have the itinerary, which is going to. And then we have a verb. Don't forget the verb, the main word, the main verb, sorry. You're going to go to the beach. Next vacation. So the end, the end, the beach, next vacation, that is a, a compound. Okay, again, verb to be. Stopped yet. Hillary going to the verb, which is go, and the complement. Going to the beach, sorry. That's the case. That is a complement. Okay. All of the structure, and don't forget. Forget. And the way we move on, because I'm going to explain the obvious questions. It's different because we provide more information. Okay. With all these questions, we have the following structure. It's similar to the previous one where we add something at the beginning. So at the beginning, we don't have the verb to be. So now we have a W word. Plus the verb to be, second. Plus the subject. Plus going to, which is a theory. Plus the verb, which is the main verb, this is base form. Plus, um, that is the end. When we have questions, the only questions is because we have, or we are trying to get more information. And let me ask you something before to give you an example. Do you remember W's words? What are some W's words? What, when, what, what when, what, when what, where, which, who, who, why, who, who, who uh, which, uh, which, 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 Going to go next week. What is the W's word? Where? Where? What is the verb to be? Is. Is. Subject? Charlie. Charlie. What is the tillery? Going to. Going, going to. to. What is the verb? Go. 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 And the complement? Next, next week. week. Next week. Okay, hey, when we have where, the W is where, when do we use it? We're asking for what? Where? For example, if you say um, to the beach, to the party, say to the park, to the university, who? What are those? What are those? 
is where? To know there more are places. There are places. Yeah, those are places. And when yes. we use where, we're asking for places. Asking for places. That is the main purpose of the question. Where is Carly going to go next week? But well, we have a long answer because we're asking, we're getting more information. Where is Charlie going to go next week? So the answer could be Charlie is going to go more than next week. What is the place? What is the place in this case? Roatan. 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 That is a place that Charlie is going to visit next week. That is the way we use where. Where is Charlie going to go next week? For example, he is going to go to the university next week. He is going to go to the park next week. He is going to go to company next week, etc. So we can have different places, right? This is one of one question. I have another one. I need to know if you have questions right now. Ah, yo tengo una duda. Para la respuesta de estas preguntas, siempre vamos a empezar con el sujeto, ¿verdad? Yeah. You can, in this case, if you want to omit, because we know that we're talking about Charlie. If you want to omit Charlie, you can do it. You can say, he, he is going to go to a time. We start with the subject. In some cases, people tend to say just a place. For example, if you ask someone, where is Charlie going to go next week? You know, someone will probably give you that answer. You know, because they like to speak on that way. But you have to respond in this way. You have to give or follow the prompt. Charlie, he is going to go to Roatan next week. Yeah, it, it sounds repetitive, but that is the way. That is the way. In other, in other ways, teacher, I have a question. Okay. Uh, teacher, is that correct if I say Charlie is gonna go to Roatan? Mm, okay. Yeah, you can say it. It's correct. Okay, okay. Uh, grammatically, no. Grammatically, no. Como grammatical, no. Yeah, going to, we know that in English we have contractions. So for going to, we use gonna. And we tend to use it when you're speaking. Why? Because you want to, to sound or you want to be fluent when you're speaking. You want to speak fast. That is a purpose. You're looking for fluency. Want to do so, people can contract because it is a way you can speak fast, right? You can say, Charlie, Charlie is gonna go. It's gonna go. Gonna go okay. to. Okay. To, uh, um, next week. Yeah, it is valid. It is valid, but grammatically not. Grammatically not. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, sure. Let's go with another question. The same structure, remember. Only the word plus the verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb, in this case, the verb is in base form plus a copy. Now we have another question. What are you going to do for Christmas? Have a holiday, right? That's a holiday in the United States, in El Salvador, in Spain. In Italy, in China, etc. On the world. What are you going to do for Christmas? What do we use what? What? The English word what? What do we use it? They say that where we use it for places, right? When do we use what? I would say it's almost what? We 
we use what or we want to say uh, activities or things it could be in general okay what are you going to do for christmas i'm asking you for an activity or some activities that you're that you're going to do i'm sorry that you're going to do okay what are you going to do for christmas uh an answer a, res a response would be like i am going to spend time with my family that would be one activity okay or probably someone can say i'm going to visit my grandparents okay and that is a future plan in this case what is the, the the activity spend time with my family that is the answer what spend time with my family what are you going to do? Christmas. I'm going to spend time with my family. I'm going to visit my grandparents. I'm going to go out with my friends. I'm going to cook turkey. Okay. Activities, things. For example, if I ask you, let me see, Sister Ariola, what are you going to do for Christmas? What are you going to do for Christmas? Can you hear me, Jose? You can ask me, you can ask me, don't worry, don't be shy. Well, let me see, I think you type in the chat. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Tessa, you can type in the chat. Let us give you some request in the chat. Don't worry. If you have to answer the microphone, you can find the chat. In the meantime, the sister is typing in the chat. I will ask somebody else. Let me see. I'm going with cloud here. What are you going to do for Christmas? Mm, I'm going to visit my family. Okay. I'm going to prepare bread with chicken. Repeat <laughs> again, sorry. I'm going to prepare, creo que ese es el verbo, no. Yeah, you can say prepare, yeah, food, prepare. make. Uh, bread with chicken, creo que es pan con pollo, no. Mm, chicken bread, chicken oh, bread. Sure. Okay. Excellent, delicious. I'm hungry, <laughs> I'm hungry, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What about Alberto? What are okay. you going to do for Christmas? Thank you, Claudia. I am going to to go house my parents. Oh, okay. I'm going to go to my parents' house. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to go uh, to my parents' house. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to go to my parents' house. Okay. Thanks. Let's go tell them right now. What are you going to do for Christmas? Excuse me, teacher? Yeah. What are you going to do for Christmas? Uh, um, I'm going to to I uh, I'm going to stay my home, my my home and I am going to cooking with my family. Okay. You can say, you can say, Karen. I'm going to stay home and cook. They cook, right? Cook dinner, right? Yes, teacher. You can say in this way. I'm going to stay home and cook dinner. You can avoid, in this case, uh, feeling, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. If you want to say, like, two actions, you can say, this, I'm going to stay home and cook dinner. Okay. okay. You, you don't repeat, I'm going to, yeah. for, for many, which many times. Yes. Mm, yeah. ah, okay. You can do this. Same. Yeah. You're welcome. 
para no sonar tan repetitivo, podemos hacer esto. Mencionamos una lista de actividades, por ejemplo. Pensé, I'm going to stay home. Uh, prefer chicken, dinner, eat with my family, etc. Okay? You can say it in the words. Right? Thanks. You're welcome. Well, let's go with another question. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Is correct. correct. Is correct. Uh, put a comma in in between the the verbs. Yeah, exactly, in, exactly. For this example, case, I'm going to stay home. And you can say, for example, um, let me see. Her chicken. Then you can say it could be. This way, yes, with several reports. Okay. Right, and then, well, you can continue with another idea, right? You finish with a period, finalizamos con un punto, una idea, and then we continue again. I'm going to attack. Continue. I'm going to hablar. Good. I will give you another example. By the way, I want to ask a son. Um, si voy muy rápido, por favor, dígame. Okay. Trumpa, no problema. Vamos a ver. Muy rápido. Bien. For me, it's good, teacher. Okay. Vamos a ver, no tengan pena, no tengan pena. 20 minutos. Okay, let's continue. Okay, go more rapidly, okay? Next, another question. What is she going to do for Halloween? What is she going to do for Halloween? Again, we're using what? Yes, and we use what for, for things, activities, etc. We're talking about that special holiday, this Halloween. Yes, we know that people do many activities on that day, right? The United States, you know, Salvador, etc. What is she going to do for Halloween? She's going to go to a costume, oops, costume party. I forgot to. Oh, yes, sorry. Um, she's going to go to a costume party, okay? So, that happens, well, in a Salvador, in our country, I think some people organize some custom party, right? But it's not common to see it. In the United States, yes, they wear big parties, custom parties, but they wear costumes. You can see in the picture, we have the Joker, we have Eat, we have some clowns, etc. So we have, those are costumes, custom that is another plan. That's another plan. And we're using what? What is she going to do for her? She's going to go to the custom party. Okay? This is a way, guys, we construct questions. Just the questions and information questions or always questions. I want to know if you have questions or that. Bien? Sí, sí. Yeah. ¿Y eso de costume qué es? This oh, costume. Costumes. Custom. Is it Custom. costumes? Uh, on, that yeah. is, on that specific holiday, Halloween, you know, we wear costumes. For example, oh. if you want to wear a costume of, let's say, Batman, so you can wear a costume. Oh, yeah. It can be Batman. But it's a costume. You can see in the picture, we have some specific characters from movies. We have, for example, um, the Joker. We have the character from the movie Eat. So they are just, they are wearing costumes. So those are called, we wear special clothes, special case equipment, let's say. Okay, that is costume. Costume. In a costume party, of course, someone prefer 
prepares or organizes a party, and this is a custom party because everybody has to wear a costume. For example, I, uh, I, I would like to be, imagine that we prepare a party, okay? A custom party. So I will be what? The Deadpool, for example. I'm going to wear a Deadpool costume. Okay? That is custom. Okay. Good. Thank you for asking. Questions? Okay. Preguntas? Okay. Preguntas? Okay. 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 Okay, let's go with some questions. Let, let's practice. Let's practice. Um, for example, let me see. We have in here six questions. For example, I will use the second question. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? We use that specific question, and I'm sorry, before to continue, I forget to show Cesar's answer. Okay. Oh, okay, Cesar, you, you didn't type the answer in the chat. Okay, it's okay. I'm going to see, no, we're going to see the microphone. Okay, Bessie, Marisol, you said, I'm going to go. Oh, okay. Um, well, we have two possibilities, Kessie. We can say probably I'm going to go to the dance floor. But you can say I'm going to I'm going to dance. You have the two possibilities. I'm going to go to a dance floor. You can say, I'm going to dance. Teacher, excuse me. In this case, um, when you say the answer, um, what is different? For which one, sorry? The, uh, and the before, yes. I am going oh. to go to a dancer. I am going to dance. It's the same. Well, uh, they are similar, they are similar, but when we, when we use the first one, I'm going to go to a dance floor, we're referring to the place. The place that you're going to arrive in, we have the dance floor. The dance floor is a place where people dance. Okay, people dance. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And the other one is the action. I'm going to uh, dance. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Okay, we're going to ask the following questions. For example, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? Second question. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? And say, going to go to bed at, say, I'm saying 11.30 p.m. Yeah. So in this case, we're asking for time. What time? That's, that is another Delish word. What time? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? I'm going to go to bed at 11 p.m. Okay? And I'm going to sleep. That is where we answer this question. I'm going to select some people. Six questions. Do I have a volunteer, by the way? First question. Volunteer? You can raise your hand. You can on the microphone. Hmm. Or read the question. Or okay. Uh, let me see. The team, Cesar Martinez, you speak, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Cesar Martinez, please ask the first question to Ernesto Garcia. Hmm. Uh... Could you, okay. could you repeat? Sure, what sure. Uh, you... Tessa, you are going to ask the question, what are you going to do after class to Ernesto? 
Ah, ok. Ok, what are you going to do after class? I am going to... I am going to sleep after class. Ah, ok. You are going to sleep? To go to sleep. Go oh, to okay. sleep after class. Yeah, good. Excellent. Yeah, because... It's almost 10 o'clock, right? Yeah, yeah. We have to, to rest. Excellent. To rest. Excellent. Good. Uh, Ernesto, can you yes. ask the second question to, let me see, I will select someone. Ana Francisca. Ana Francisca. Second question. Second question. Ana Francisca. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? I'm going, yes, yes, uh, Ernesto. Audio, está mut. Sorry, Ernesto, uh, I'm, going, I'm going to go to the bed at 11 p.m. Okay, 11 p.m., good, good. 11 p.m. 11 p.m.? 11 p.m.? 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Yeah, I listened yes. to someone that said 7 p.m., right? I don't know who. Okay, no worries. Let's go with Ana Francisca. Ana Francisca, please, I want you to ask the third question. What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? But this is in the morning. I need you to ask that question, Ana Francisca, to the same. Let's go with Jose Portillo. Okay. What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? I'm going to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah, good. Thank you. Nice. Now let's go with the four question. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Please ask this question to say. Joanna, please. Uh, what are you going to do tomorrow morning? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Donna? For example, in my case, I'm going to okay, I'm going to eat breakfast, special breakfast in the morning. And you? I'm going to go out uh 8 a.m okay i'm going to go out at 8 a.m excellent what we want to some examples that Betsy share in the chat i think this is for the first one i'm going to sleep okay after class right basically the other one i'm going to get up remember without go i'm going to get up at 5 30 a.m Without go, okay? Without go, see me go. El verbo es que era. Okay, very good, thank you. Well, let's go with the last questions. And I will add question number five to somebody else. I want to like, let me see, I, someone, oh, Jose Barrientos. What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? Uh, I am going to go to the hospital to my date. You? Is that correct? I am okay. going to go to the hospital uh, with my date. With your? Because I have a date in the hospital. Seguro oh. social. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Okay. And let's go with the last one. I will listen to Stephanie. What are you going to do tomorrow night, Stephanie? 
Okay. Yes, teacher. Last Repeat, question. please. Yeah, sure. What are you going to do tomorrow night? Um, I am going to to eat dinner. Yeah, I'm going to eat dinner. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Listen up. We're going to move on to the following part. That is the last part. We have a couple of minutes. We're going to practice and we're going to see how we use questions in a real scenario. Have a short conversation. We're going to practice just a moment and we're going to finish with the session. This is a short conversation and we have a real scenario. These people are asking many questions you know, about holidays and you know the way that is the way we respond. Let's go on. I'll go on the conversation first and then I will have some money. Right? Let's go. This is about this is between John and Lisa and they are asking about holidays, activities that they do. Listen, listen now. Are you going to do anything special for Christmas? Yeah, I'm going to travel to the USA and visit my relatives there. Really? Where are you going to travel to? On December 25th. How about you? Well, I'm going to meet all my family in my grandmother's house and spend time together. Great. Well, good Christmas day. Thanks. You do. This is a way we ask future questions, right? We use be going to. Perfect. We we'll have some volunteers. I will select Karen and Lisa. Karen and Lisa, and I will go with. Oh, Cesar, oh, no, good. Please, help me out. Cesar, you will be John, and Karen and Lisa, you will be. So on the camera three. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, I can let it start. Yeah, you're going to start. Okay. Uh, are you going to do anything special for Christmas? Yeah, I'm going to travel to USA and visit my relatives there. Really? Where are you going to travel to? On December 50th. How about you? About you? Cool. I'm going to meet all my family in my in my grandmother's house and spend time together. Sounds great. Well, have a good Christmas day. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Thank you guys. I'll go with two more participants. I will select Johanna. I'll then you raise your hand. I will go with Elena. Okay. Give me a hand. Johanna, you're going to start. John and Elena, you will be Lisa. Let's begin. One, two, three. Okay. Are you going to do anything special for Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I am going to travel to the USA and visit my relatives there. Really? When are you going to travel to? On December 15th. How about you? Well, I'm going to meet all my family in my grandmother's house and spend time together. Sounds great. Well, have a good Christmas day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. I will go with Ernesto Garcia and I will have in the um, museum. We have Karen Natalie. Please, turn your hand. Next, you will be John. And Karen Natalie, you will be Lisa. Let's begin. One, okay. three. Are you going to do anything special for Christmas? Yes. Yeah. I am going to travel to you, you say, and visit my relatives there. Really? When are you going to travel to? Oh, December 15th. How about you? 
Cool. I'm going to meet all my family in my grandmother's house and spend time together. So great. We'll have a good Christmas. Thanks. You too. Thank you too. Thank you. Okay, nice. I will have I will go with my last pair. I will select Valida and Okay. Ah, Carla Rivera, good. All right. Um Carla Rivera, you're going to start. You will be John and Valida, you will be Lisa. Ready? Let's go. Are you going to anything special for Christmas? Yeah, I am going to travel. Today, I am visit my relative day. Excuse me? Yeah, continue. Really? <laughs> really? When are you going to travel to? On December 16th. How about you? How are you? Cool. I am going to meet um, my family in my grandmother's house and spend time together. So I was right away and how I will Christmas day. Thank you. Thank you too. Thanks. You too. Okay. Thanks. 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 You too. You too. Thanks. Oh. Okay. Valida, it's for me. The following word. Travel to the USA. Travel to the USA. Other word, Valida? Sounds great. Sounds, sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Yes. Great. Yeah. And Canada Rivera, did the following word, my grandmother's house. Oh, my grandmother's house. Yes, exactly. Well, everybody, thank you, thank you. Um, it's time, and yeah, I know that you have to rest. I want to know if you have questions about the conversation in general, about the obvious question. And before to go, just give me a second. I'm going to pass the time as quickly. One more time. I will go quickly. And if you have questions, you can ask me. Remember, say question one more time. Puerto Espinosa. Present teacher. Good. Ana Francisca Garcia. Present teacher. Good. Ana Vicky Garcia. Present teacher. Nice. Ask the listen, please. Aston Elizabeth. Sorry, I saw her, but I don't know if she's not here. Astrid Elizabeth. When I saw her, Ravi, Kaka, Kaka, Sasa, is going to talk. Yeah. Eh, en el grupo alguien ha puesto que se salió por una emergencia, no sé si era ella. Sí, creo que ella fue porque sí, sí la, la, la vi acá en la sesión. Uh -huh. Ella uh -huh. es. Ok. Thank you, ya voy a verificar. Thank you. Thank you. Astrid Lorena Muñoz. No. Pessi Arely Ábalos. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Pessi Flores, thank you. Present teacher. Here. Cesar Martinez. Present. Here. Cesar Arriola. Here. I'm sorry. Thank you. You raise your hand. Uh, let's go with Claudia Ramos. Present. Here. Talida Alicia. Present teacher. Jimmy Peña. Thank you. Here, I know. Ernesto Garcia. Present teacher. Here, Stephanie Zer. Present. Here, Hanson Rodriguez. Present teacher. Here, Elina Linares. Present teacher. Here, Eliana was here. I saw it. Ivan Patis. Present. 
Thank you. Jennifer Mangandi. Jennifer Mangandi, I saw it. Are you going to do anything? Hmm, okay. That's a Joana Navarro? Present teacher. Yeah. Jorge Espinosa? Present teacher. Here. Jose Carlos Barrientos? Here. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Carlos Rodriguez? Here. Hey, Isaias Portilla? Present teacher. Here, Karen Carvalho. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Mungiva. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Renata Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Hola, Marila Granados. Present teacher. Thanks. Carla Patricia Rivera. Present teacher. And Carla Stephanie Rosa. And this one here. Okay. Perfect. Well, good to go. Oh, Delmi? Really? Sorry. Sí. Oh, okay. Delmi, sorry. Thank you. Se me olvida alguien? Dígame, okay? Okay. Thank you, everybody. Well, questions before people go? Preguntas? ¿Estamos bien? No. Everything good? Clear? Yeah. I'll use questions. Yeah, all this clear. Yeah. Well, everybody, it's time. I'm sorry for, you know, I'm not this time. Thank you for your time, for your patience. We will continue tomorrow, okay, with a new session. Have a good night. Take care a lot. Many blessings to you and your family. Goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.